All y'all white people for what I see y'all. Devils. Y'all are parasites. Y'all are mosquitoes. And when you look at a mosquito, you see that mosquitoes latch onto other life forms, drain the blood from that life form to get nutrients so it can power itself. That's exactly what y'all are. Money or Black History Month? Money. Why money? What about Black History? I need money. <laughs> what about black people like me? Uh, doesn't pay my rent. Yo, what's going on, my amigos and amigas? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you're doing well. So today I got tagged on this post. Yo, sensitive, can I ask you something? So I saw a video by this YouTuber who talked about this TikToker and thinks that white people are the devils and they need to bow down to black people who he called them eternal beings and gods. And if you have any video ideas, suggestions, or you just want to stop by and say hi, please feel free to follow my Instagram. I will really appreciate it. I'm going to do a giveaway soon. So I looked into this person's account. From what I could gather, and I've seen some of their videos because I had to dig. So from what I could gather from my experience this is just a crazy spiritual person who's clearly off their mats who clearly lost all sense of reality and they're openly racist they're just simply racist they have something against white people i am the messiah here to restore balance back to humanity this person says i really fw your content but are you racist to white people bro genuine question i as an eternal man cannot be racist because first of all I, as an eternal man, would not create a global system to maintain my survival because I have always lived since eternity. So my existence is not limited. But these devils, on the other hand, their existence White. is limited. So they have created a global system to maintain their survival because they know the 6,000 year period is up. Therefore, they are destroying as much as possible and they are trying to integrate with us as a people they are having babies with us to try to leave little remnants of themselves on the face of this planet because they know naturally they're coming to an end. They are sterile. They are barely producing any children. So to answer your question, I am not racist because I have always lived. I don't know about you guys, but I got 7-Eleven crackhead vibes. You know when you go to 7-Eleven at night with your amigos and amigas? You go get a Pepsi, you get a Slurpee, you get the big gulp, and there's always a crackhead. There's always this fucking crackhead who's singing and preaching about whatever religion or whatever he believes in or whatever spirits. This gives me the same fucking vibes of someone who's so far gone and just preaching and seeing a whole lot of nothing. So in a nutshell, yeah, white people are weird, according to him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, me as an eternal being like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You came out of your dad's balls just like all of us, okay? You're not a god. You're not special. You're just off your meds. And just to be 100% transparent so you know and understand where I'm coming from, I do not believe in spirits. I'm not religious and afterlife and all of this stuff. And if you do, that's awesome. I support that and more power to you, okay? But to me, this is nonsense. This makes zero sense. And I'm being open-minded here at the same time. This is probably the most normal TikToker, to be honest. Most sane rational tiktoker on the platform this person says if you get it you get it if you don't you just don't bitch you got preached by someone with 7-eleven crackhead energy he's not saying anything bro what the ones that can get it get it in my humble opinion i think this brother is just wait wait way too far gone but guys i wish it got better i wish i got better news to report to y'all but this guy just keeps digging himself a bigger grave this person says hello sir do you realize it's videos like yours that plant a seed to keep racism going please take responsibility for what you communicate the best way to stop racism is just stop talking about it just like shut the fuck up about it stop this this and that and once again it's people like him that keep this shit going and it's so fucking annoying like stop stop devil shut the fuck up Y'all devils only say this because I am planting a seed of rebellion. I am planting a seed of taking back our natural minds as a people. And this threatens the very slave mentality that y'all devils have created for us by projecting that shit onto us to make us live in fear, to place shackles on the mind so that we can continue to submit to your power and authority. Once again, I don't know how much weed this guy's smoking. I don't know if he's hanging out with Snoop Dogg and Seth Rogen. I really don't know what's going on with him. I don't know what he's taking. This is fighting racism with racism. Because we are not bounded by your power or your authority. Because we are the true power, bitch. This ain't slavery no more. 
It hasn't been slavery for hundreds of years. <laughs> I think this guy might be stuck in 1805. I don't know what's going on with him. Like, oh, slaves will be no more. I'm freeing them. I'm freeing their mind. The truth is about to come out. The spirits will possess your mind. Anyone could act crazy. Anyone could act like a crazy crackhead from 7-Eleven. I could do it too. And I could also spit as much bullshit as you. Oh, white people are the devil. White people are evil. White people used to have slaves. So did black people. Why are you bringing shit from 100, 200, 300 years ago, dude? And I just don't fuck with people who bring shit from 100 years ago or 200 years ago. Move on. And I'm not saying this as a quote-unquote white supremacist. Like, I'm speaking as a Latino. You know, my people were slaves too. And you don't see me pulling the racism card or the slavery card either against white people and stop smoking that fucking crack my man we realize who we are we know who we are and when you know who you are you don't leave it up to another man to define that for you you define it yourself Who's controlling you? I mean, I'm living in 2022. No white person is controlling me. No brown person. No one's controlling me. I'm not, I'm not a slave. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this guy all about? I cannot believe there's people who are blindly agreeing with this just because he's black. Black children need to be separated from white children and any other race when it comes to education. So this guy wants us to go back 60 years, 70 years, separate, let's separate everyone. That's what your people and everyone else, whites, Latinos, that's what we fought for. That's what they fought for. They fought for equality. They fought so they could drink out of the same fucking water fountain. They fought so they could use the same restroom. It doesn't matter if they're white, brown, pink, purple. That's what people fought for so we could all be included and we wouldn't be separated by a race, something that we cannot pick, okay? That's what people fought for 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago. And for people like this to be like, we need to separate them again. You are being racist to your own people right now. Do you know that? You're sitting back everything your people have done for you and for you to have the ability to speak up. So for you to be like, let's go back. Black kids should be separated from everyone else. Do you hear yourself? Do you know how fucking ridiculous you sound? The black child is not the same as every other child to stop <laughs> pretending like they are the black child is different from every other child on this planet because the black child is god within the black child holds the akashic records and within those records they have all the information that they need to learn and all they need is nature not school this is one of those people who probably thinks you could shower with just water for like a month. No soap, no shampoo, just pure water and you'll smell just fine. I can smell this person from my fucking screen and he smells like piss and armpits. And just sweaty armpits and sweaty balls. That's the smells that I'm getting here. I'm just wondering, why does someone like this have a platform, 250k followers, and they're being openly racist towards white people? But if this was a white person saying the same thing about a black person, they would be terminated in 10 seconds. I just hate these fucking double standards. Either we're all equal or we're not and we need to open that gate just tell us but we need to treat everyone equally no matter sexuality race color that's why when i make videos on people i don't care how they look if you're acting stupid and you're acting like a fucking moron you need to be called out you don't get special treatment just because you're fucking crazy like this guy is right here anyways guys like this video please i would really appreciate it subscribe if you're new we're trying to end the year with 400,000 subscribers so i would really appreciate it and yeah love you guys take care and i'll see you tomorrow with the brand new video right peace